This is it. It's 420, guys. <laughs> Happy 420 to those who celebrate. You were the first person, Reggie, to tell me what 420 was. <laughs> it's not a thing. It's not a thing for us. No. English, English, the Britons. <laughs> we don't do it. That's not to say there's no one there who smokes marijuana. Yeah. They, they, they do. We just don't have this whole 420 thing. Where does it come from? What's the origins of this? Uh, they said it was like a cop thing, like, you know, a call that they would say on the radio. But then some people said it was a, it had to do with a town square in a small northern California place where people would meet. And it was like 420 was the time period that they were supposed to meet to smoke weed. I don't know. You what? Penal code. It's a what? It's a penal code. Penal code, yeah. It's like, 50, code. It's like 5150, 420. Oh, for the police. Yeah. Not uh, a code for your penis. When, no, when you get... <laughs> when you look at me in the eyes like you just did and say penal code... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't start thinking about anything. Well, that's us. All I do is wish you guys weren't here. <laughs> um, look, we could do this all day. <laughs> but I can already feel CBS going, enough now. Because <laughs> it's that time. It's time for the news. <laughs> Finance chiefs from the G20 met in Washington, D.C. today, but finance leaders from the G7 countries, including Britain and the United States, gathered on the side to discuss additional measures against Russia. A side meeting. That can't be good for Russia. You know things are about to go down when a third of the book club meets separately to talk about you over drinks. <laughs> they met to discuss ways to step up pressure on Russia. Spoiler alert, is sanctions. <laughs> That's what... They act like they consider other options. They don't. It's just more sanctions. <laughs> and this is exciting. Tomorrow is Queen Elizabeth's birthday. She's turning 96 <laughs> years old. Yeah. She'll, of course, be celebrating in the traditional way an intimate dinner with loved ones, followed by two elephant legs of cocaine. <laughs> Now, this is true. According to tradition, official festivities for the Queen's birthday are shifted from April to a time of better British weather. So, never. Her birthday <laughs> is never. Her official birthday isn't until June. You've got to think, right now, this moment right now, Windsor Castle is absolutely flooded with corgis wearing party hats. <laughs> How do you think the Queen cuts loose? Do you think she goes for it at her birthday parties? I bet she gets absolutely tanked, yeah. Do you think? <laughs> do you, I, the, the Queen, I read an article that says she drinks four cocktails a day... Correct. ...on a regular-ass day. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> she, she has, like, a mid-morning gin, and there's, like, articles about it. A mid-morning gin? Yeah, like, like, around 11, she's like, probably time to have gin. Uh, <laughs> Be some big news. Uh, some big news for the 420 holidays starting tomorrow. You will a you will be able to legally buy recreational marijuana in the state of New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> About that. I gotta tell you, guys, you just wait until you try it. You're gonna love it. Just be careful, people from New Jersey, because if you smoke too much weed, you might accidentally forget about a bunch of important stuff <laughs> you need to do. <laughs> Legal weed in New Jersey. John Bon Jovi. More like John Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely love that show. Yeah. <laughs> the <picture>, yeah. <laughs> and here's some news from my homeland. A company is now putting on events that allow people to gather and drink at a British pub in the nude. Yeah. The group recently hosted an, its inaugural event at a small pub outside of Guildford, Surrey. If you listen carefully, you can now hear Pete making reservations. <laughs> <laughs> The group says it's trying to normalise naturism and social nudity whilst breaking down the negative stereotypes of media-inspired body image. Feels like a complicated way of saying they all just want to get their <laughs> and out. 
Isn't it? Like, that's all this is. That's all it is. I think it's very optimistic to do this in a pub. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure how big a market there is for people who want to watch a 63-year-old guy slowly eating a scotch egg in the nude. <laughs> Would you go? Would you go to a nude pub? No. 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 What? Do I have to be nude? Yeah. No. Yeah, otherwise, I, if you're not nude, it's a strip club. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's, I, it's not. I'd, I'd go to a strip club. Sure. Yeah. Show of hands here. Show of hands, and just be honest. Who? Oh, look at her go! Straight up. You wouldn't go to a nude pub. So here's my problem. I'd, okay. I'd go, just for the experience. Right. We're all drinking, who cares? But someone sat there before. That, that's my only problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like butt cheeks spread on, and then mine. And then, you're, and then you sit that's down. That's my only that's reservation. That's your only yes. problem. Everything else, whatever. That's your only problem. Absolutely. Is the seats. Yes. OK, genuine show of hands. <laughs> who here would go to a nude pub? <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all right. No judgment. I couldn't think of anything worse than being stood nude in a pub. Just being like, oh, yeah, what about Tom Brady come out of retirement? Yeah, yeah. Also, the way you sit on a stool is not conducive to being naked. You know what I mean? I don't think a pub is conducive to being naked. No. Pubs are like, it's... What time of night are we going? They're poorly lit. Yeah. I need very good lighting also, it... if I'm naked. I do. I do. I cannot. I need to be lit so well. I need to be lit so, like, it needs to be a, a ca like a candle, a candle, <laughs> ideally a fireplace. So I just sort of become a kind of shimmering, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Would you go, Guillermo? I mean, if you go. <laughs> well, now we got a party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and NASA has announced plans, get this, to test a new device that it hopes will make space travel more affordable and eco-friendly. It's a giant catapult that can fling... It's true. ..can fling objects into space at 5,000 miles per hour, which is faster than the speed of sound. <laughs> this feels like something that started out as an April Fool's joke. <laughs> like, on NASA's Twitter account. And then NASA got, like, $50 billion in funding from Congress. They're like, oh, I guess we got to do this catapult <laughs> thing, right? <laughs> They're calling it Spin Launch, which is maybe the least exciting name for something that is this insane. <laughs> It'd be like if somebody invented something that, like, bores a hole straight to the centre of the Earth, and then they called it the shovel thing. <laughs> But this could mark the start of a new way to access space that is more cost-effective, environmentally friendly, and definitely sponsored by Mountain Dew Code Red. <laughs> and did you hear about this? Tinder has just announced a new feature called Festival Mode. It lets users who are attending the same music festival match and begin chatting up to a month before the actual event. Wow! <laughs> Do you know what this means? People at music festivals will finally be able to hook up with strangers. <laughs> what a relief. <laughs> By the way, telling your future children we met at Coachella is also a way of saying you were definitely not planned. <laughs> According to Tinder, the new feature will help you find other people at a festival. But the acid... The acid will help you find yourself. <laughs> and finally, to celebrate 420, Wingstop has introduced a new blazed and glazed flavour. It contains hemp seeds, strawberry and hot pepper seasoning that Wingstop says will enhance your high. <laughs> this might finally be the thing that gets stoners to eat chicken wings. <laughs> Here's how it works. On 420, you place a carry-out order for blazed and glazed wings, then you forget all about it, eat some old taco shells from the back of your cupboard. <laughs> Not to be outdone, 7-Eleven is running their own 420 food special this week. It's two Slurpees, a bag of Funyuns, and however many loose hot dogs you can grab with one hand. 
And that, that's the news. We'll be right back, everybody.